Well, right now the state seems to be concentrating a lot on creating jobs. That's what we've been talking about for the last several years. And uh, specific to that, we've been talking a lot about a lot of infrastructure improvements across the state. So uh, as the Senate moves on before spring break, and then I'm sure after spring break, there'll be a lot of conversation about infrastructure improvements across our state. So what, what kind of um, strategies have you seen to improve the infrastructure and do anything like that? Well, for a couple of years, we've been having conversations specific to roads, bridges, that type of transportation infrastructure. We've looked at a couple of different proposals to see what we can do to put some money into Missouri's uh, infrastructure bank, if you will, so that we have the funds needed to continue the improvements Missourians are used to. Uh, this year, we have a proposal in front of us that would put a question before the voters uh, should they want to invest in a temporary one cent sales tax uh, for the next 10 years to fund almost $8 billion of infrastructure improvements around our state. That seems to be the uh, conversation. It's getting a little momentum. Uh, ultimately, voters will be able to decide if they think that's a good investment or not, and the legislature is getting ready to see if it seems prudent to put that before those voters. Do you have a time frame of maybe when this will go to vote or when people might be able to see the yep. issue? The legislation calls for a vote to come forward in November of 2014. Obviously, before that vote would happen, but after it gets out of the legislative process, there would be a list of projects developed by Missouri Highway and Transportation Commission. Voters would be able to look at that list, decide if they think those are needed improvements across the state, and then they'll be able, they'll have a chance to weigh in, and that's kind of the way it should be. Okay, so smaller state scale, if we're talking about just Miller County, do you think it's kind of the same issues in there? Do you see different issues? Yeah, the uh, infrastructure is uh, needed all across our state. You know, Missouri is blessed with 32,000 miles of center lane roads and 10,400 bridges. Certainly here in central Missouri, specifically Miller County, many of those bridges have been replaced under our last uh, bridge improvement program that MoDOT just finished. However, there's hundreds and thousands across the state additional ones that need to be replaced. Miller County has its share of it and infrastructure projects in any county across the state are important right now because that's where counties' budgets are suffering the most. So the fact that the state can come in and help them with state-owned infrastructure in those counties, that would really help uh, those counties, jobs, and the safety of those citizens. So coming in, speaking to the community today, what does this mean to you to kind of have that outreach? Oh, it's great. Uh, we have seven uh, counties in our six district Senate area, and we travel around from uh, uh, county to county, talking to folks like we are here this morning, just letting them know what's going on in their government. And we like to be, you know, our, in our office, we like to be transparent, and we also like to be approachable. So getting out to the communities, coming to people's backyards, if you will, is the way government's supposed to work, and that's the part of the job I probably enjoy the most. And what will you be talking about today? Uh, again, we'll be talking a lot about uh, what's happening in the state Senate, um, what kind of legislation has been going through the body so far this year, what I think might be happening uh, after spring break, and again, infrastructure will be a part of those conversations. Do you think that kind of this transparency maybe quells the public, keeps them satisfied knowing that something's been done? Well, I don't think you can ever communicate enough. So we try to do electronic communications. We try to get our uh, updates posted in uh, various newspapers around the, the district. And coming to events like this, uh, we also do coffee stops where we go out and talk to people. I don't think there's ever enough ways that you can get out and communicate with uh, the people who put you in office. But I think that's the most important thing you can do. So we attempt to do it as much as possible. Anything else you want to add? Well, I'm looking forward to getting started this morning. It's great to be here in Miller County. they got a great crowd. Uh, the chamber down here is very well organized, and uh, they truly represent a great section of the residents in this area. I'm looking forward to having a good conversation with them. Great. Thank you.